our great and sincere regrets about the way we have been obliged to discommode the public. And unlike the wind by Shane Ross, these are genuine regrets because the people that I carry and my comrades carry are our families, our relatives, our neighbours and our community. Hey. The other thing I have to say is a speedy resolution of this strike could be possible if Dublin Bus Management, if the NTA and if the supercilious self-advertising windbag Shane Ross Despite what the right-wing media say, the bus workers' demands are very modest. And I think that is the reason why the vast majority of the public support us. Not only because they see our case is fair, but also to realize that like those, over the last eight years, we have all endured the unendurable because of an austerity program foisted on us by blue shorts, torn coat fit of falls, and fritters on the left. But we will fight back and we will prevail. Shane Ross has, of course, did what he's best at. He is going to tell us that the government's checkbook is closed. Well, it was open for the last eight years for all his friends in the banking community. He and there are other people in the government today and other people who are not in the government know that there's 13 billion out there that could be used for all kinds of things, including the resolution of this fight. Why don't they do that if they need money? Like the skippering eagle, Shane Ross tells us he is watching early the situation in relation to this fight. But is he telling us as most of us know that we have the lowest subsidy in Europe and what some of us know that in the last eight years 24 percent of that low subvention has been taken off us but there's also other aspects of this things that the media haven't picked up on and I believe that our friends should pick up on and that is the public service obligation which is money which we give to the buses to do services wasn't paid to us in 2010. How's that for a contract? And lastly, if I can find it, the NTA won't recognize the notion of a reasonable profit. Unlike every other bus company in Europe, private or public, who have reasonable profit, Dublin bus isn't a loud one. That's the reason why when we made a small profit recently, they took the two million off us. Yeah. The money is there. What the government, what the NTA, what the Department of Transport have done is manufactured a financial famine so that the bus workers will have to subsidize it by low wages and the public will subsidize it by high fares. That's not going to continue. They are free of risen people. I'm going to finish off now because you're speech weary, I'd imagine. And I've been on a long shift, and it's about time we got my head down. But nevertheless, I'd like to say one last thing. Our fight is your fight. And we thank you all for the support that you give us because I haven't seen any hostility from Canberra to Drumna this morning and I don't expect them to see it tomorrow morning. As the Italian comrades would say, the struggle continues. Thank you very much.